All right, this is Master Geo at AEE on Thursday with the beautiful Ella Darling. How are you doing, Ella? I'm so good, darling. How are you? I'm perfect. So what have you been up to since last year that I talked to you? Oh, man. Um, okay, since last year, my company rolled out the world's first pornographic virtual reality holograms. Then in July, we rolled out the world's first virtual reality live cam. I'm the world's first VR cam girl. Um, then we're about to roll out a new, I keep saying roll out, we're about to release the next version of our live cam virtual reality program, um, which is a lot different and a lot better than the last one. Um, basically the new program puts you in the performer's bedroom. So when you go into my cam stream, you start in my bedroom at the foot of my bed. I'm on my bed in front of you. You look around, you see uh, Boba Fett on the wall, a big Star Trek sigil, a gas, be like bedazzled gas mask girl, uh, skulls, all the, the stupid shit that I have in my bedroom. And uh, in a webcam environment, what we're providing is intimacy and a reciprocal attraction and a connection with someone. So by being in my bedroom in virtual reality, before I say a word, you learn so much about me, you, f you just kind of get a sense of who I am. And it's a really compelling and engaging experience. Um, VR, I think, is comparing 2D traditional webcam to VR webcams is like comparing like a photograph to an IMAX movie. It's breathtaking and incredible, and I'm so excited about it. And, uh, and yeah, I am really, really excited. My company is VRTube.xxx, and it's we're we're seeing a lot of stuff happening right now. I can't talk about some of it, but the next couple of weeks are going to be crazy for us. Um, so what do people need to log on to, to, or do they need to buy anything to check out your site? So you'll need um, a fairly recent Android phone, or a Gear VR with an Android, or an Oculus Rift. And you just download our program and log in. Um, you just sign up on our site at this point, and you log in and you go. Performers, if they want to cam for us, they just need the virtual reality webcam, which is 250 bucks. We assemble it and send it to you. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. You just download our program and go. All right. Uh, you excited for AVN Awards? I'm pretty excited for the AVN Awards, yeah. Uh, my company, VRTube, is up for an award, which I should know the name of, but I do not. But we're up for something. It's like a niche site or or alternative site or something. Alternative, uh, yeah, maybe best alternative site. Yes, best alternative site, that's it. Yeah, that's it. and uh, it's just really validating to be recognized by my industry. Um, I got to speak at Xbiz last week about <laughs> VR porn. I just spoke yesterday at the adult webcam conference across the street. I'm speaking at AVN tomorrow about VR porn. Uh, I'm gonna have a panel at South by Southwest in Austin, which is fucking awesome. Um, yeah, there's a lot. There's quite a bit happening and I'm really excited. I also just won Performer of the Year from the Free Speech Coalition for my advocacy work in porn and the activism and stuff. I was about to mention about that. Yeah, so I'm on the board of the Adult Performer Advocacy Committee um, and I've been, uh, I've just been kind of a political activist in porn for about four and a half years now. Uh, February 18th is the next really big Cal OSHA hearing and I really hope a bunch of performers come out. Uh, I was thinking about it. Um, I've been talking to Cal OSHA about porn longer than I've had most boyfriends in my life. And I wish I could just break up with Michael Weinstein like I could break up with a shitty boyfriend, but unfortunately I cannot. So it's really important that we keep fighting this fight. So when did you, uh, what drew you to do the Free Speech Coalition? Uh, what drew me to them? Yes. Um, well, I don't really work for them or anything. I've worked alongside them a lot uh, because they do a lot of really good stuff for our, for our community. Um, I've actually opposed them a lot. Uh, APAC and the FSC have not always gotten along. And that's so good. That's so important that we have the opportunity to be adversarial occasionally because it, it furthers the discussion. It we get so much more done. Uh, performer voices get heard alongside producers' voices. Uh, it's really good. I love the FSC and I love that I can disagree with them and have conversations with them and we all grow together. I have massive respect for them. Um, Eric Paul, I don't know how to say his last name, Eric Paul Loya maybe, um, was just uh, made the executive director of the FSC uh, following Diane Dukes. Uh, moving on, I don't know, uh, leaving the FSC. So they've got a lot of cool stuff going on. I have massive respect for them. Uh, I'm on the, the PASS committee, the perform, I don't know what that stands for. Um, but you know what the PASS system is, the adult testing stuff. So uh, so yeah, I, I've worked with them on that. I think they do a lot of really good stuff for our industry and I'm really thankful for all of them. I, I am thankful for Diane Duke and I'm really sad that she left. But Well, congrats on winning that. And um, I'm pulling for you to win for, VR, for, for the AVNs tonight. 
I should say Saturday, sorry. You're a doll. Thank you, babe. Um, so what geeky stuff have you been reading or playing recently? Oh, man. Um, I am very slowly making my way through Ready Player One, which is a really, really cool book, which uh, I certainly should have read years ago. Really great. I actually got it for free. I went to the Oculus conference, Oculus Connect, which is big and awesome, and they gave everybody a signed copy of the book, so I have to read it. Um, I just saw Star Wars, which happened. It definitely happened. So you weren't a big fan? I don't, okay, I don't want to shit all over something that I love. I have, I feel like I must retain some kind of optimism that like they're going to pull it around. There's like a lot of the questions are going to be answered. I'd really like to think they didn't just make some ridiculous Mary Sue character because it's a little bit diminishing of women that like we finally have a female Jedi, but she's like the best ever. Like give her some flaws. Fuck. It's like, I liked it. I liked it better when it was episode five or six, you know, like a Death Star, another Death Star. Wow, by this time I was like three Death Stars. Dude, really. the Sith <laughs> needs to have better fucking management. Who is making these decisions? <laughs> like, come on. And also, Kylo Ren, little bitch. Little fucking bitch. Yeah, he's an emo bitch. Oh my god. Oh god. But there was a lot that I liked about it. I love that we have a Star Wars movie where there's finally another black person in the universe. I really hope they don't make him a descendant of Lando Calrissian, simply because I'd love to have more than one black family in the whole universe. Um, it's cool having a woman be a Jedi and be the star of the show. Um, I loved a lot of it. I cried through a lot of it, which I won't say, just in case anybody hasn't seen it. I respect spoilers. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Um, other nerdy stuff? Oh, I'm going to LeakyCon this year. There's a really big Harry Potter convention. Okay. It was one of the first ones I ever went to. Um, and it's happening in Los Angeles because they're opening the Harry Potter world this year. And it's going to be amazing. I'm going to see all my Harry Potter friends again. And it's going to be super cool. Um, oh, I won um, Best Fetish Model at uh, the LA Fetish Film Festival which is really a high honor. Um, I did not expect it. I ended up, so I was told, hey, you should come to the award show. And I was like, yeah, totally, I will. And then I had a threesome, and then I showed up late, because I was fucking to people. And they're like, oh, hey, by the way, you won this award. We announced it, you weren't here. And I was like, world's biggest dickhead. Is that the award? Because <laughs> should be. But, uh, but no, they like re-announced it, and they gave it to me. It was super cool, but, um, but yeah. All right. Um, anything else you're up to that you'd like to promote or mention? Um, just VR tube all the way. Like so much VR tube. That's my life right now. Um, I'm, I have intentions of. Uh, I'd like to stop performing in the next year or two, uh, or at least uh, scale it back a lot to where I'm only doing stuff that I just really want to do. Um, and I'm really hoping that VR tube, you know, empowers me to do that. I have stickers. Oh. I'm gonna give you some stickers. Awesome. Here you go. You should vandalize things. Yes, I will. I will. Awesome. Fuck the police. Anarchy. <laughs> Punk rock. Hells yeah. <laughs> All right, Ella. A pleasure as always to talk to you. All right. If uh, fans want to contact you. At Ella Darling. That's Ella with one L. Um, at VRTubeXXX or Ella at VRTube.XXX. All right. Thank you. Thank you.